You are such a fucking chicken shit. Oi! Kent! Get your hairy ass into my office now! Your casual misogyny, for one. What? I know, it's a big word. Ask one of your daughters what it means. William Rupert, get in! Shut your stupid little twat mouth or I will shut it for you. I can tell. You know what suits you. I like that beard. Ooh! Oh. Evidently, she doesn't eat sugar. What a fucking asshole. Mm. Or maybe it's because you insist on wearing those tiny shorts that force me to see one of your testicles. And there's the other one. Liam and Noel. Though perhaps not an oasis. Oh, you're mature enough, all right. You're nearly 70 and you're having a baby? I mean, what are you, a character from the fucking Bible? When your kid hits puberty, you'd be nothing but a pile of dust and a black Amex card. Blah, blah, blah. What's the first concert you ever saw? With George. <sighs> Not you, you garden gnome. I haven't placed Elaine Kenner. Awful woman. She won't be attending tonight. She was kicked in the face by her horse. Oh, that poor thing. Is the horse OK? You know, I'm actually quite reassured to find out that he is still just a selfish, conniving cock. Mm. Siri! Call shithead! Oh! I want to torture Rupert. I want him to feel like he's being fucked in the arse with a splintered cricket bat, just in and out, over and over, in a constant loop, like a gif. Every lonely, middle-aged, sports-blogging loser writing in his mother's basement. Sneaking in here today reminded me of uh, the first match I ever saw at Nelson Road. When they used to play by candlelight. You're overrated. You're overpaid. And you eat too much fucking asparagus. I do piss off you, fat twat.